Modern business environments are intrinsically linked with technology. Digital transformation is the current reality for organizations across all sectors. This reliance on digital systems introduces significant risks like data breaches and system failures. IT General Controls, or ITGCs, provide the foundational framework for essential protection. The pervasiveness of interconnected systems means a vulnerability in one area can impact an entire organization. Consider the widespread adoption of cloud computing, mobile devices, and the Internet of Things, IoT. Each introduces new entry points and potential weaknesses. ITTCs address these overarching risks at a fundamental level. They ensure the IT environment is managed and controlled effectively. Without robust ITGCs, specific application controls may prove insufficient. Organizations handle vast quantities of sensitive data, including customer information and financial records. Protecting this data is often a legal and ethical obligation. Regulations like GDPR impose strict requirements for data security. ITGCs are crucial for meeting these compliance obligations. They provide a structured approach to managing IT risks and demonstrate due diligence. Effective ITGCs are a strategic imperative for the entire organization. They ensure technology serves as an enabler, not a vulnerability. IT General Controls ITGCs, are policies and procedures that support the effective functioning of application controls. They ensure the overall integrity of the IT environment. Think of them as the foundation of a house. If weak, the entire structure is at risk. ITGCs create a reliable operating environment for information systems. Key objectives include ensuring systems operate as intended and access to systems and data is restricted. They also ensure changes to systems are authorized and properly managed. These controls maintain the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of information systems. Without effective ITGCs, organizations face risks like unauthorized access, system instability, and data loss. ITGCs are essential components of an organization's governance, risk, and compliance GRC, strategy. They provide management with assurance that the IT environment is well controlled. Strong ITGCs reduce the likelihood of material misstatements in financial reporting. They help protect against operational disruptions and ensure compliance with laws and regulations. Their role is foundational, supporting every aspect of an organization's interaction with its digital infrastructure. Auditors rely on ITGCs to ensure automated controls within business applications are effective. Weak ITGCs necessitate increased substantive testing, which is time-consuming and costly. Robust ITGCs contribute to a more efficient and effective audit process. Access controls are a critical component of ITTCs. They ensure access to systems, data, and programs is restricted to authorized users. This principle of least privilege reduces the risk of unauthorized data modification or destruction. Effective access controls encompass physical and logical access, as well as access to specific functionalities. In an ERP system like SAP, access controls are managed through roles and authorizations. For example, a user in accounts payable might enter invoices but be restricted from creating vendor records. This segregation of duties prevents a single individual from controlling all aspects of a critical process. Oracle eBusiness Suite employs a robust system of responsibilities and security profiles. A responsibility defines a specific set of functions and data access available to a user. Regular reviews help identify and remediate excessive or unnecessary privileges. Auditors examine user access listings and system configurations. They review processes for granting, modifying, and revoking access. A common audit test involves checking for users with powerful privileges. Weaknesses in access controls, like shared accounts, indicate a higher risk of unauthorized activities. Effective access controls are vital for maintaining data integrity and security. Change management controls govern the processes for requesting, authorizing, developing, testing, and implementing changes to IT infrastructure and applications. The goal is to ensure all changes are legitimate, authorized, and implemented in a controlled manner. This minimizes the risk of service disruptions, system errors, or security vulnerabilities. 
A formal change management process involves stages like change request submission, impact assessment, approval, development, testing, and deployment. In an SAP environment, change management is managed through the Transport Management System, TMS. Changes are developed in a development system, tested in a quality assurance system, and then deployed to production. This structured workflow ensures changes are reviewed and validated before impacting the live environment. Oracle environments follow a similar path of development, testing, and controlled promotion to production. Oracle provides tools like Oracle Application Change Management Pack to support this process. Auditors scrutinize change management processes rigorously. They look for evidence of a formalized process, including documented change requests, approvals, and testing evidence. A common audit procedure is to trace changes back through the change management lifecycle. They verify that all required steps were followed. Any deviations, like unapproved changes, are noted as control deficiencies. These deficiencies indicate a risk that unauthorized or untested code could be introduced into production systems. Effective change management controls are essential for maintaining system stability and integrity. IT operations controls ensure that IT systems function reliably and efficiently. These controls maintain system availability and performance. They detect and respond to operational issues and security incidents. Key areas include job scheduling, system monitoring, and incident management. Effective IT operations ensure tasks are completed accurately and on time. In large ERP environments, IT operations controls are extensive. Automated tools manage critical background processes. System monitoring tools track performance and error logs. Incident management ensures problems are resolved promptly. Oracle systems rely on robust IT operations controls. For Oracle Cloud Services, customers monitor their application instances. Auditors assess IT operations controls. They review job scheduling logs and incident logs. Regular system health checks and escalation procedures are positive indicators. Lack of documented procedures or frequent outages are control weaknesses. Effective IT operations controls maintain data integrity and system reliability. Backup and recovery controls ensure an organization can restore its data and resume IT operations in the event of a system failure or disaster. These events can range from hardware malfunctions to cyber attacks. Without effective backup and recovery capabilities, an organization could face catastrophic data loss. A well-defined and regularly tested backup and recovery strategy is a critical business continuity requirement. For critical systems like SAP, comprehensive backup strategies are essential. This involves regular full backups and incremental backups to capture changes. Backup media must be stored securely, often at an off-site location. Recovery procedures must be documented and regularly tested. Oracle databases require meticulous backup and recovery planning. Oracle Recovery Manager, RMAN, automates backup and recovery processes. For Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, various backup and disaster recovery services are available. Auditors place significant emphasis on reviewing backup and recovery controls. They examine the organization's backup policy, schedules, and procedures. They look for evidence that backups are performed successfully and stored securely. A documented disaster recovery plan and evidence of successful testing provide assurance. Effective backup and recovery controls are essential for protecting data and ensuring business continuity. The IT general controls form the cornerstone of any IT audit. Auditors rely heavily on the strength of IT GCs to determine the extent to which they can depend on automated controls. If IT GCs are weak, auditors cannot rely on system-generated information. This necessitates an increase in substantive testing, which is time-consuming and costly. Strong IT GCs contribute to a more efficient and effective audit process. Consider a scenario where an organization has poor access controls. Auditors might find that multiple users share generic administrator accounts. They might also find that terminated employees still have active system access. This impacts the reliability of financial reporting. Deficiencies in change management can also have significant audit implications. If changes are made without proper testing and approval, there is a risk of errors in calculations or processing logic. Auditors would need to assess the potential impact of such control failures. Robust ITGCs are crucial for building and maintaining trust. They provide assurance to management, shareholders, regulators, and customers. 
They demonstrate a commitment to data integrity, security, and operational reliability. Effective ITGCs are fundamental to good corporate governance and risk management in the digital age.